Breaking news, a suspect indicted in a 20 year old cold case. The Bristol County Dr District Attorney's Office says new DNA evidence led investigators to a suspect in a brutal 2001 homicide in New Bedford. I sat down with DA Thomas Quinn to talk about the arrest that was decades in the making. It's a story you'll see only on 12 News. This was the scene on March 24, 2001, a New Bedford neighborhood on edge after a woman was found murdered inside her Cushnet Avenue home. The police received a uh, 911 call in our communication center in regards to an unresponsive female uh, on a floor. That woman was 41-year-old Rosemarie Moniz. There was no sign of forced entry. Uh, her injuries were extensive. Bristol County District Attorney Thomas Quinn says Rose had been robbed and beaten with multiple objects, including this conch shell, which investigators took another look at in 2019. It was uh, theorized, if you will, that the individual would have had to put their hand inside the conch shell to get a firm grip. Additional DNA testing was done, and this defendant was linked to the conch shell by new DNA testing. And in addition, there was DNA evidence under uh, Rosemary's uh, fingernails, uh, which contained what is referred to as YSTR DNA, male based DNA. The DNA evidence led investigators to this man, 53 year old David Reed. He's also now been charged with a 2003 assault at this New Bedford shopping plaza where he allegedly beat a woman with a tire iron. At the time, he was arrested for the crime when he crashed into a police cruiser, but he disappeared for 11 years after posting bail. Finally, in 2015, Reed was apprehended again and sent to prison. He also had to submit a DNA sample, the sample that years later would ultimately link him to Rose's unsolved murder. The effort that goes into these cases is extraordinary. This isn't resolved in a weekend or a week. Uh, so again, it's a combination of old-fashioned police work with DNA testing that has resulted in this defendant being charged with the murder. We look forward to prosecuting him in court. An arraignment date has yet to be scheduled for Reed, but who is he and why did Rose let him into her home? To get those answers, I spoke with Rose's family, including her son, who was 18 at the time and was initially considered a suspect. We'll hear from them coming up new at 6. Now a 12th News exclusive, a man now charged in a 20 year old cold case. As we first told you at five, the Bristol County District Attorney's Office says new DNA evidence led them to a suspect in a brutal New Bedford murder. Rose Moniz was found beaten inside of her New Bedford home back in 2001. I spoke with her brother and her son, who was considered a suspect at the time. They tell me the man now charged with her murder was a pallbearer at her funeral. Accompanied by his uncle, Robert Moniz visits the grave of his beloved mother, Rosemarie. The New Bedford mother was 41 years old when she was robbed and murdered inside her Cushnet Avenue home. It was March 2001. Robert was 18 and had quietly come home after a late night out with friends. He went upstairs to bed, not knowing his mother had been brutally killed. It was Rose's father who made the discovery the next morning. Just, I woke up to him screaming, saying, you know, your mother's dead, your mother's dead. It, I couldn't even kiss her, you know. Or, but I remember uh, just kneeling down on the side next to her and just, you know, rubbing her leg. And, um, but yeah, that, what I saw, I can't get out of your mind, ever. There were no signs of forced entry into the home, and suspicion fell directly on the teenage Moniz. That was one of the worst feelings for me, thinking about that and thinking that I might possibly go to jail for something like that. And almost it, it got in the way of me even grieving normally for her. 20 years went by before a major break in the case this fall. DNA newly discovered inside a conch shell used in the fatal beating matched with 53 year old David Reed. Reed is Rose's half brother born out of an extramarital relationship had by Rose's father. The same man who discovered his daughter's body that March day. You know, I was told my mother and father, we're going to find out who it was. We'll find out. 
I'm, I'm glad they're not here to know, because that would have that would have killed them. Rose's brother, Fred Cunha, says they were a close family. He remembers the good times with his sister, the family trip to Disney just before her death, their shared laughter and cups of coffee. Rose was the most awesome, gentle person you could meet. Knowing his half-brother now stands accused of his sister's murder is a bitter pill to swallow. The day of the, the wake and, the, and the, the funeral, they were both pallbearers for my sister. It was all the boys, the four boys of, 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 of us and those two boys. He carried her casket. He carried her casket. Fred and Robert tell me closure hasn't arrived just yet, but it's closer than ever, though Robert still wishes he could relay this message to his mom. Sorry I didn't come home that night, and I wish I was around more. But when you're young and that age, it's... But, um, yeah, I just... I just would hug her and wouldn't let her go. <laughs> And Rose's family tells me they fell out of touch with David Reed in the years after her death and didn't tell investigators about his existence until recently. Reed's arraignment has yet to be scheduled.